Andy House here with Area 51 Motorsports. Today I have a 2009 Ford F-250 diesel four-wheel drive. Uh, I am installing a MotoFab two-inch leveling kit so I can bolt on these uh, 35s. So what you got to do is jack the truck up, jack stands on the frame, jack on the front end, take out the bolt in your brake line, the bolt in your shock, the two bolts for the ABS line, and the uh, bolt for your bracket there. Come around to the other side, do the same thing. Unbolted the sway bar, the brake, the shock, and now I'm about to let the jack down so I can pull the springs out and add the spacers in. So I've let the jack down. It has relieved all of the spring tension. The spring will now come out. The next step will be to remove the uh, perches here and then add the spacer in between that put a new bolt in it uh, Put the spring back in jack everything back up removal of the bolts the front wheels and tires uh, With the air compressor and the right tools takes about 20 minutes So our next step was uh, coming in remove the spring perch. There's a bolt in the center of it You will remove that discard it uh, install the new uh, two inch spring spacer supplied by uh, the moto fab kit uh, Reinstall your spring perch comes with a new bolt install the new bolt And that takes care of that now the next step will be reinstall the springs and jack the front end back up So I've come back in and installed the springs as you can see down here you'll notice that the spring is positioned uh, has to be up against the bump stop here this will cause issues if you don't put the spring back in correctly uh, next step I'll jack the axle back up and bolt the uh, suspension back up so everything is installed now I have reinstalled the shock bolt the two bolts for the uh, ABS wire reinstalled the brake line bolt and have reinstalled the uh, sway bar linkage and that completes this project uh, and I'll post a pic uh, in a minute with the the wheels and tires on so my wheels and tires are back on the truck as you can see there's plenty of clearance for a 35 12 50 on the uh, factory rim a lot of ground clearance And it's ready to go off-road.